Greetings everyone. This is Magpie from Magpie's Corner speaking. In this video I will tell more about wood in Eastern Slavic folk witchcraft, its different types and of course uses. I have to say that personally, throughout my almost two decade long practice, wood has been one of my favorite materials. It is warm and pleasant to the touch, rather convenient and sturdy. In folk tradition, wood is an important material for crafting ritual tools and amulets. Unlike metal, wood absorbs energy rather than reflects it, making the instrument made of wood and used throughout the years become magically stronger with each time used. Of course, wood can carry both positive and negative energy. In Slavic folklore, objects made of wood are some of the most likely ones to become cursed and have to be viewed with caution if given or inherited. Energy vibration frequency of wood is larger than stone, but finer than metal. Metal tends to vibrate, it is to respond to its magical goal and then lose the energy charge provided to it in about a day or two. Stone processes energy a lot slower and typically responds or loses its charge within one solar change. It is within time between one solstice and equinox and vice versa between one equinox and solstice. Wax, herbs and wood, however, respond to the charge or discharge within half of a lunar cycle, which is about two weeks. When working with wood, it is important to remember that different trees and shrubs respond differently to us and our goals. Generally, all trees may be roughly divided into two categories – donors of energy and acceptors of energy. We will further refer to them as donors and acceptors. The explanation of the term comes from the name. Donor trees are good at donating energy that we need while acceptor trees tend to draw the energy from us other than donating their own. Hence the name acceptor as the one that accepts energy or even vampire tree. Vampire because it sucks the energy out of its surroundings. Some people do not like the term vampire being applied to trees and therefore do not use it. In folk magic, donor trees are usually used in magic of attracting and gaining something. Acceptor trees are excellent for banishing, cleansing, and getting rid of something. Some trees from both of these categories are also excellent at protection magic, where donor trees would deflect or transform evil, and acceptor trees would absorb negativity within themselves. There are some ways to determine the energy behavior of the tree. One of them is scientific. Cut a thin strip of paper or thin cloth and bring it close to the trunk of your chosen tree. If its end leans towards the tree, the tree accepts energy. If its end withdraws away from the tree, the tree donates energy. Second method to determine what tree is in front of you, a donor or an acceptor, is more spiritual. Simply stand straight making sure that your back leans against the tree trunk and your spine can feel the bark almost through the spine's entire length. Do your best with this. And listen to yourself. If you feel warmth and even a desire to hug the tree, you are standing next to a donor tree. If you feel cold and even slight prickliness, the tree you chose is an acceptor. It is also important to pay attention to the shape formed by the tree's branches. Conical shape of the treetop means that it could be used to revitalize you and motivates for action. Round shape of the treetop, as if inviting to rest in its shade, means that this tree will help one calm down, relax and rest, which is also not a bad thing if you ask me. Next, I will briefly review some of the popular types of wood native to moderate regions of Northern Hemisphere. This review should serve as a guideline for people using or planning to use these trees and objects made of these woods and magical practice, as well as to those who wish to study their local trees and their magical properties. 
Before starting, I should say that different woods affect different energy cocoons of the human being. In Eastern Slavic spiritual practice, they are called body, the cocoon closest to our skin, only an inch or two away from it, that copies the contour of our body, fueled by element earth and responsible for our physical feelings and general well-being. So, located two to three inches away from our skin, envelops our body in the shape of an egg, fueled by element water, responsible for our emotions and relationships with others. Spirit is formed by body and soul combined and located three to four inches away from our skin, envelops our body in the shape of an egg, fueled by element air, responsible for our wits, smarts and spirituality. And finally mind, formed by the combination of body, soul and spirit, located four inches up to five feet away from our skin in activated state generally has a shape of an egg or a sphere but may stretch to any distance and any shape depending on what we're doing with it for instance public speakers and performers are said to be able to fill the whole auditorium with their energy field which makes other people pay attention to them this cocoon is fueled by the element fire and is responsible for our overall health and mental health in particular. All four energy cocoons form our energy field, or what Western practitioners call aura. Now, after a brief explanation of human energy field, let's get back to the wood types. First of all, we shall view the woods that mostly affect the energy cocoon known as body, fueled by element earth. Lindenwood, also known as basswood. Linden is a powerful, strong donor that strengthens the body. While its wood is considered a multi-purpose, granting many wishes and about gaining something uh, to material, Linden's lore are hints of its most common use in family matters, to provide a loving and nurturing home and establish peace and love in the family. This wood is also commonly used to make musical instruments, such as violins, psalteries, and Russian harps known as gusli. Linden is considered sacred to goddess of love, beauty, and peace, Lada. Cherry wood. Cherry is a mild donor that calms the body. Amulets and instruments made of cherry wood are commonly used in love magic to enhance woman's charms, boost creativity, and promote success. This wood is energetically most suitable for women. Cherry is sacred to female goddesses of life, love and beauty such as Lola and Jiva. Elderwood. Elder is a strong acceptor that strengthens the body and protects from evil. Elderwood is best used for instruments and amulets meant for protection against negativity. The protection provided by elder is absorbent. It absorbs negativity rather than deflecting it. Elder is sacred to Slavic goddess of winter and death, Morana. Now we shall view some woods that work with the energy cocoon known as soul, fueled by element water. Birch wood. Birch is a powerful, strong donor that calms and enlightens the soul. Instruments and amulets made of birch wood are used in healing magic, love spells, achieving success in all beginnings and boosting creativity. Birch is a good feminine tree that enhances femininity and helps a woman become more attractive and charming around others. Traditionally, this tree had been used to make spindles for spinning yarn. Magical spindles made of birch wood are considered all-purpose and are most commonly used for folk witchcraft of gaining something. Birch is sacred to female goddesses Lada, Lola and Jiva and also to spirits of water Rusalki. Apple wood. Apple is a mild donor that calms the soul. It is a feminine tree that in its action is very similar to cherry. Instruments and amulets made of apple wood work very well for love and fertility magic, enhancing women's beauty and natural charm, boosting creativity and ensuring successful outcome, outcome of any beginning. Apple is sacred to goddess of love, beauty and peace. P 
patroness of family union Slada. Spruce wood. Spruce is a strong acceptor that calms and enlightens the soul. Spruce wood is one of the most common to be used for cleansing. Slavic folklore considered spruce the tree of death and spirits. Magical instruments made of spruce are used for most powerful cleansing rituals, breaking hexes and love spells. It cleanses almost any type of negativity, weak or strong, and banishes illness. However, this is not the type of wood to be used for exorcism and banishing powerful evil spirits. Woods that carry powers of absorptive protection are considered best suitable for this goal. Magical spindles made of spruce wood are considered multi-purpose and suitable for any ritual that involves banishing negativity. Or, which is also important to the cunning folk, keeping the magical secrets safe from those who should not be knowing them. The energy of this tree is very strong, so when using an instrument made of spruce wood for cleansing a person, it is best to stand at some distance from your patient, five feet if you are cleansing the mind cocoon. Spruce is sacred to the goddess of fate Makosh and in, nor in, nor in the northern Slavic regions, and goddess of death Morana or Majana for western Slavs. Alder wood. Alder is a strong acceptor tree that calms and enlightens the soul. For centuries, Slavic women used this tree to stop scandals and abuse and pacify the situation at home. It commonly grows by the water and women who suffered abuse at their own home often came to this tree to cry out their tears and ask the tree to take their pain and emotional suffering away and protect them from future attacks. It is a feminine tree that, if made into a spindle, a scepter or an amulet, will help absorb negative energy and set up protection for those suffering from frequent scandals and abuse. Absorptive protection is one <clears throat> most prominent power of alder tree and its wood. In folk magic, it is also used for protection against evil spirits, demons and spirits that cause physical illness. Despite being a feminine tree, Alder is also known as a warrior in both in Slavic and Celtic mythology, and may be used by equally men and women. Magical instruments made of Alder wood may be also successfully used for cleansing, however its energy is denser and thicker and does not reach as far as the one of spruce. When cleansing a person with an instrument made of this wood, it is best to stand closer to your patient. Two, two and a half feet if you are cleansing the mind cocoon of your patient. Alder is sacred to the goddess of winter and death, Morana. Quaking Aspen Wood Quaking Aspen is a very strong acceptor tree, also known for its power of absorptive protection. It calms and enlightens the soul. Wood of this tree is very soft and is rarely used for construction. However, it is commonly used to make household objects. When choosing between a magical spindle or a scepter made of this wood, it is best to choose a scepter. Scepter or staff made of quake and aspen is called Perun's club and is associated with powers of Perun and Veles. Eastern Slavic cunning men used staves of quake and aspen to banish demons from people and places. This tree possesses masculine energy and is best suitable for males or women who feel masculine energy within themselves. Choke cherry. I also heard the term bird cherry wood. Choke cherry is considered a mild acceptor that calms the soul. It is best to be used in rituals to cleanse from negative energies. Due to its mild action, it is considered a feminine tree and suits best for women. Choke cherry is associated with goddesses Morana and Giovanna, the goddess of the hunt. Willow wood. Willow is a mild acceptor that calms the soul. Magical instruments and amulets made of willow wood could be used for cleansing. Willow is a feminine tree and best suits women and their magic. In southern regions, willow is used for women's dark magic, casting hexes and curses for death. Its wood is also favorable for divination instruments, such as rune sets, divination twigs, scrying bowls, or crystal ball stands. 
In Slavic witchcraft, Willow is associated with goddesses Morana and Divya, the goddess of the moon. Next, we shall talk about trees and woods that affect the human spirit, fueled by element air. The first of them would be oak wood. Oak is a strong donor that calms the spirit, fills with positivity and good health. In Slavic folklore, oak is often named a masculine partner of birch. In magic, it possesses similar properties to birch, however with more harsh masculine effect. Amulets and magical instruments made of oak wood are sturdy and are causing its bearer or user to become sturdier himself. This wood is used in healing magic and promoting good health and longevity, gaining physical and spiritual strength, promotion of male fertility, prosperity rituals, receiving protection from the higher forces, accomplishing goals and achieving success. Oak wood may be successfully used by men and women with strong leadership skills or those wishing to develop this quality in themselves. Oak is commonly devoted to chief masculine deities such as Perun, Dashbog, or Svarag of Slavic folklore. Ash wood. Ash is a strong donor that calms the spirit and fills one with positivity. In folk magic, ash wood has been used for making instruments used in divination rune sets, pendulums, staves, scepters, and spindles. Ash is sacred to god of wisdom and magic Veles and carries masculine energy. Beech wood. Beech is a mild donor that calms the spirit and fills one with positivity. In folklore, beech is the tree of knowledge, and in folk magic, beech wood has been used similarly to the one of ash, for making instruments used in divination such as rune sets, pendulums, staves, scepters, and spindles. Beech is sacred to god of wisdom and magic Velis and carries masculine energy. Finally, I shall tell about the trees and woods that impact the mind, fueled by element fire. Pine wood. Pine is considered a very mild acceptor by some and a very powerful donor by the others. Perhaps this classification would depend on species of the pine. It enlightens the mind and protects it from magical invasion. Staves and scepters made of pine wood are used to trace protective circles, cast crosses on the windows, doors and walls of a dwelling. It is considered one of the most powerful trees for transformative or deflective protection, which makes its wood useful for amulets that are meant to work with other people when trying to make a favorable impression at a job interview, pine would transform an unfavorable impression of you into a favorable one. Finding new friends or speaking publicly, it would deflect the attacks of the enemies and again help create a favorable impression among people who do not know you personally. Pine is known to stop evil spirits from entering our world. Pine stains forked staves were traditionally used at a wedding ceremony for protection against evil eye and sorcery. Pine carries masculine energy and is considered a sacred tree of God Velis the god of wisdom, magic, riches, and animals. Rowan wood. Rowan was most commonly considered a very powerful donor. Some do call it an acceptor, though. It enlightens the mind and protects it from magical invasion. Like with pine, staves and scepters made of rowan wood are used to trace protective circles, cast crosses on the windows, doors, and walls of a dwelling to magically seal them against sorcery and evil spirits. A rowan staff or scepter is also called in some regions Perun's club due to its powerful protective properties. It is considered one of the most powerful trees for transformative or deflective protection when you need to deflect magical attacks from your enemies and create a favorable impression on strangers. Opinions on masculinity or femininity of this tree vary. A forked twig of rowan is used in dowsing for water, and rowan stains, forked staves, were traditionally used at a wedding ceremony for protection against evil eye and sorcery, just like the pine ones. Rowan is associated with god of warriors Perun, and also god of winter Sankalada, the carrier of knowledge and wisdom. 
and also the ancestors, which makes this tree very suitable to those trying to learn about ancient knowledge and those willing to protect themselves from evil magic. Lastly, I shall provide a couple of general guidelines about determining energy properties of woods that have not been mentioned here. Fruit trees are most commonly donor trees. Coniferous trees, with some exceptions like pine, cedar and larch tamarack, are acceptors. Dark color of the tree's needles and its gloomy overall appearance definitely points out an acceptor tree, while light colored needles, cheerful and welcoming appearance, hints at the fact that the tree may be donating energy rather than accepting it. Trees that have an ill reputation in your area are most likely to be acceptor trees, and the ones that are known as sacred or healing trees are probably good at donating energy to its surroundings. Learning your local tree lore would be most certainly helpful for you to understand your local trees and their magical properties better. Blessings to you all. Yours sincerely, Magpie.